Hello, my name is Stefan Wintermeyer. In today's screencast, I would like to show you how to create a basic Hello World Ember JS application. Since last week's EmberConf, the default way of creating a new Ember application is using Ember CLI. And um, you can Ember CLI. You can download Ember CLI here and um, find the documentation and how to install it. Once you install that, you should check which versions you are running so that you are having an up to date NPM and Node version um, so that you won't run into any problems there. If you have a Node version, best is to deinstall it and um, to install it new. Um, I will post links in the um, blog post uh, for the screencast for that. Okay, let's create a new Ember app. That's Ember new ABC example. This can take a little bit longer. Um, I will forward it here with a movie trick. Let's cd into that new directory and use let's use the second terminal to run the Ember server, which can run in the background. Um, these are error messages which probably are fixed by tomorrow. We can open the application here. Let's enlarge it a little bit. Okay. Next thing is we have to create a new route. And we do that with ember generate route pot about. We use the pot directory structure because it's going to be the default anyway and it's a nice structure if your application gets uh, bigger. So we open the about template and enter hello world here. So we save it and you see um, the server rebuilds the code every time we save something. Let's go to the about page and this is the about page and this is the index page. Obviously it would be nice to have some sort of navigation on top here. Um, let's do this as the next step. We can do that in the App templates application HPS file. So link to index index link to link to about. And let's close that, save it. And you see that's that's quite nice when you're in development mode, the page gets reloaded automatically. Um, so I can click on about and then that gets me to the about page and this one gets me to the index page. You might ask yourself why we have an index route. We didn't create that. That's part of the convention of Ember. If Ember doesn't have a configured index route, it will create one but with defaults in memory. Because that's a convention index is so important so that we always want to have an index there. But that's for this example, create our own index route. Put index. And let's change the content template. This is our 
index page. And let's save that. And here we are. So now we have the navigation, we have um, the about page, and we have the index page. Uh, now we can get rid of the welcome to ember.js part because that doesn't make any sense right now. So let me open the application and save that. And now we are good to go. We have the about page, we have the index page. You probably did see the outlet part here. I won't go into details right now, um, but outlet, outlet is the mechanism which is used by Ember to input content from deeper layers of the application at this place. If you are Ruby and Rails developer, you can compare it with Yeet. So that's it for today. Uh, we have our very basic Ember application. Please send me feedback by email or by Twitter. And um, I hope to see you in a week or two for our next screencast. Thank you. Bye.